So demonstrating the next dock touch here with the Alcatel Idle 4 Pro. The phone is completely usable and with separate applications and you can use it for telecommunications of course. I'm leaving it plugged in and charging from the next dock touch. So the touch itself here, you've got the touch screen interface on Windows 10 Mobile and of course the full keyboard as well here backlit for you just to show off. Um, I've got a load of app, UWP applications running, so we've got a calendar here, um, standard Windows 10 mobile calendar. We've got the wonderful AAWP um, universal application, so you can browse through AAWP stories. Um, there we are, tap on a story, it loads up, and of course you can swipe across for comments. Uh, quite weak Wi-Fi where I am at the moment here, it's taking a while to load up, even on the Idle 4 Pro's fast processor. We've got Microsoft Photos here, um, Windows 10 Photos of course, all my f backed up photos from the cloud, from my iPhone and from my various Lumias and Windows phones. Just loading thumbnails here from the cloud. All very, very handy. And of course you've got full multi-touch, so I can tap on a photo at random and I can zoom in and zoom out with multi-touch, it's just really really cool and of course I can swipe side to side just as if it's a big tablet just all rather impressive and cool there we are that's loading in full full resolution now though from the cloud and um, this is this is from OneDrive by the way that these aren't local photos on the phone which is all quite telling now into the Microsoft Store browsing through the applications I've got updated and of course it uh, looks very much like the Windows 10 store on the desktop because it is the Windows 10 store on the desktop just with uh, you can load in Windows 10 mobile stuff go into the uh, Microsoft news application and just see what's new in the world of course you can browse through stories um, something about the masked singer I never watched that but there we are let's load up a story um, yeah not interested in that <laughs> what else have I got um, running on this Windows 10 Mobile Alcatel Idle 4 Pro. There's still the up-to-date weather forecast. It's going to be sunny today, browsing through this rather nice uh, UWP interface. It's the same as on the phone, which is but bigger, using the higher resolution screen. It's a good effect. Uh, what else have we got here? Um, awesome Tube, a UWP application, a YouTube client. Let's just watch a bit of something or other. Let's see what this is. I was watching Marcus Brownlee. I'm now watching this. This is James May. Uh, no audio on the Next Dock Touch from uh, Windows 10 Mobile. Um, rather peculiarly, it did work with the Next Dock original, Next Dock 2, but not the Next Dock Touch. But um, let's pause that for a moment. You do get the audio from the phone speakers if you have those turned up. So in the Idle 4 Pro's case, that is not too bad anyway. Um, let's have, load up BBC News. See what the um, French president's tested positive for COVID. There we go, this is up to the minute. Um, of course you can browse through the stories. Let's look at a royal story there. Well then this is the uh, BBC News uh, UWP app in the store, CAAWP stories. Um, maybe that's a video, maybe that's going to load. Anyway, let's move on. We also have Microsoft Excel, the uh, one of the kingpins, the linchpins of uh, Windows 10, of course, and Office 365 and Windows 10 Mobile. This is one of the template files. But you know, as, as ever, all of this is touchscreen, so you can um, multi-touch, zoom in and out and have great fun. You can also use the trackpad, of course, to scroll up and down as I'm here. But it is so much faster to use the touchscreen, really, in many applications. Also worth noting is that you can uh, do Alt-Tab and just select the one you want. So you can alt tab between any running program. I've had up to about a dozen programs open on the, the RAM of the Windows 10 Mobile on the Alcatel Idle 4 Pro. Let's go to the back to the store, for example. Um, of course, the keyboard, you can turn the backlight back on. There we are, so that you can do lots of typing. Let's say you're doing some typing in Excel, for example. I want to, to edit that cell. Math and English combined. So you can typing away. And again, it's all fully touchscreen, fully trackpad, fully keyboard. It's a pretty productive interface, really. And at any point, you can go back to the Windows 10 start screen, of course. Um, let's go to the All Apps, in fact, and uh, see if I can load up a game. Um, I know I've been uh, loaded up a tennis game. There we are, World of Tennis, Roaring Twenties. So this should be interesting. Presumably a UWP um, game. 
still loading. This is a 2016 phone. Oh, there we are. So it's all the game's loading up properly, and I'll see if I can play it. There we are. We'll continue the tutorial. Thank you very much. Yes, 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 yes. Let's try some strokes. Play a training match. Yes, I have reviewed this on the site, by the way. It's a pretty decent game. Um, I think I'm practicing lobs. There we are. And I did ground strokes at this point. But it's, it's all quite playable, considering I'm playing on a next dock touch lap dock over continuum. This is remarkably responsive, and the touch screen is uh, there are no lag at all. It's just uh, very, very smooth. There we are. So I'm clearly progressing well in the tutorial there. At any point, hitting the start button on the lap dock itself the, um, gives you the start screen back, and you can do something else, for example, going into my messages. This is a backup phone, so there aren't any messages, but uh, you get the idea. So there we are, all these applications are subject to RAM. They're still up and uh, running in RAM. I can switch between, between them on the, uh, the bottom system tray. It shows an application that's running with a little blue bar underneath. Um, or I can use that alt tab, as I say before, and just to swipe through. You can see I've already, I'm already up to 11 applications running, uh, and I'm sure I could get to more. And they're all running at the, the same time, a subject to the usual Windows to mobile background restrictions. They're all doing interesting things, if if that's relevant, um, or rather impressive. And to say, yes, all running on Windows 10 mobile uh, via continuum via the lap dock, via the next dock touch which remains completely responsive and, um, yeah, sign of what could have been. Not working with the Lumia 950 for complicated electronic reasons, which is a bit, bit of a big shame, but this is a, a glimpse of what might have been. And if you've got an Alcatel Idle 4S with Windows 10 in America or an Idle 4 Pro in, in Europe, then, of course, you are ready to go and you can have great fun with this. And, of course, the uh, laptop itself, the next dock touch here, it works just fine with... Uh, with uh, Samsung phones and also the Huawei latest flagships as well with their uh, easy projection, I think they call it. Um, with the Samsung phones, it's DeX and it works even better with a, a really very mature desktop. So uh, that's a quick look. Alcatel Idle 4 Pro, Windows 10 Mobile, Continuum, Next Dock Touch, Laptop.